Hey, Rabbi Josh here with two important helpers to talk to you about trees. Amaria, what do you like about trees? Um, um, play with the leaves and put them on my face. Play with the leaves and put them on your face? Yeah. It sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. And Ares Nam, what do you like about trees? Uh, climbing them. Climbing them? Yeah, you're good at that. Thanks, guys. So why are we talking about trees this week? Well, for one thing, this week brings us to Bishvat, the Jewish New Year for trees. And secondly, this week's Torah portion, Beshalach, includes some really fascinating stories involving trees. First, the children of Israel have fully escaped from Egypt. They are totally free now. They've crossed the sea. Pharaoh's imperial army is destroyed once and for all. They sing, they dance, they celebrate, and they set off on their journey towards their future. Feel familiar? On their journey, they first encounter bitter waters, challenges, setbacks, right? God shows Moses a piece of tree to throw into the water that makes the waters sweet and drinkable. They journey on from there and they encounter a an oasis of 70 palm trees. Our interpretive tradition makes a lot out of the, the, the piece of tree that was thrown into the water and then the 70 palm trees at the next way station along the way. The piece of tree wood that was thrown into the water that made it sweet and drinkable is considered an allusion in Hasidic tradition to the Eitz Chaim, the tree of life. In other words, Torah. Torah sustains us, sweetens that which is bitter, helps us shift our perspective on things. And the 70 palm trees, also an allusion to Torah, because Torah is said in our tradition to have 70 faces, which means that no matter who looks at it, 70 is a number meaning a lot, everyone, a big number. No matter who looks at it, Torah looks back at them as if it's looking just at them. In other words, we all have our own unique take on Torah. We, Torah gives each of us something special and unique just for us. So also the 70 palm trees are an allusion to Torah, the Eitz Chaim, the tree of life. These all come to remind us of the deep importance that trees have for us. It's not just on the symbolic level, although definitely there too. Torah is the tree of life. In Jewish mysticism, the tree of life is the channel through which divine energy flows into the world and sustains all life all the time. Not just on the symbolic level that trees are so important to us, but also on the concrete, physical, scientific level, right? We breathe in what they breathe out and vice versa. Trees are vital to sequestering carbon. They're a huge component of the struggle to confront the climate crisis is preventing deforestation and reforesting sustainably. We need trees which is why we've chosen to be a big part of the Big Bold Jewish Climate Fest taking place this week around Tu Bishvat, the Jewish New Year for trees. Here at U Hillel UW and JConnect, we have no fewer than four events by and for Hillel UW students and JConnectors, as well as over 150 events taking place all around the world, but you can join any of them as part of this Big Bold Jewish Climate Fest. So take a look at our websites, Sign up for some local events. Sign up for other events taking place elsewhere that you can tune into. And join us in our resolve to recognize the importance of trees and all creation and protect them and, frankly, protect the future of humanity by confronting the climate crisis as a Jewish community, as an interfaith community, and as a world united in hope for a sustainable future. Happy to be shvat.